So today we're going to talk about um, a couple tips and some things I've found with uh, starting dialysis and maybe uh, I can give you some tips if you're starting out on dialysis and kind of like what to expect. Um, started February of 2018 this year of uh, with my dialysis. Um, basically when you start they're going to put in a uh, tunnel catheter probably in your chest. Um, this is temporary and it's an access point to pull the blood out and return the blood from the dialysis machine. There's two, um, there's two things on it. One, uh, two valves basically, and this goes into one of your uh, big arteries in your heart. And um, basically, it moves the blood at a flow fast enough for the machine and uh, to clean it and to pull the fluid out of it. That, that's what the dialysis machine does. Um, the purpose of dialysis is to remove the fluid from your body that your kidneys cannot do anymore being that they're either damaged or they've completely failed and uh, it also cleans your blood from the toxins in your body that your kidneys uh, may be unable to clean now that your kidneys are damaged or or failed um, for me it's actually both uh, I retain fluid and I have uh, issues with my kidneys cleaning the blood out so um, dialysis definitely helps me um so anyhow i started uh february so i'm about six seven months in now um basically what i found um you're gonna be very tired when you first start um it, it does take a lot out of you um so you know mentally prepare for that um you're gonna have good days and you're gonna have bad days um hopefully more good than bad but be prepared to um you know, you might want to sleep all day after your treatment. Um, some days I still do that. Um, it depends how much fluid they have to take off. And pretty much just depends, uh, you know, on your body that day. Everybody reacts differently. And uh, it, it affects everybody differently. Um, I find myself, if they take more fluid off, obviously, I'm more tired. I sometimes get headaches and sometimes get nausea and an upset stomach. Um, uh, I, I have Zofran for upset stomach, which uh, tends to help. Nothing really helps my headaches. No, Tylenol really doesn't help it, but uh, I think that's more or less just from the fluid being pulled and the fluid shift in your body. Um, so it, it usually goes away that afternoon, but it, it sucks having that headache for a while but it, it's all part of it. Um, so that, that's another thing, um, you know, always keep uh, nausea medication with you. you can, maybe have your doctor prescribe it, like Zofran or whatever they feel um, is best for you. Um, as far as, um, you know, when you start dialysis, um, ask as many questions as you have. No question is a dumb question. Um, Try to understand how the process works, the machine works. Um, you know, people are human. Uh, nurses do make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. So, you know, knowing how um, you you get connected to the machine and disconnected um, is important. Um, usually, they'll have you put on a mask, and this is uh, for infection control. Uh, make sure they have a mask on as well when accessing anytime your port is open they're accessing it or taking you off of uh, treatment if they're changing a bandage on your port make sure you and them have a um, have a mask on and they have gloves on you want every every bit of um, precaution when it comes to infectious uh, infection control because um, with a temporary port in your chest it's a lot more prone to infection, but this is uh, this is needed when you're starting dialysis because um, if you're just doing short-term dialysis to get fluid off or you know to uh, help your kidneys recover and your kidneys do recover, um, that's awesome. And that's short-term dialysis when you're able to get off of dialysis, uh, they might just leave you with that port uh, temporarily, and then when you're done, they'll take the port out. Now, for long-term dialysis like myself. Um, 
and, and they'll determine that after a couple months of dialysis if you're going to be long term or not. Unfortunately, I'm long term. My kidneys are uh, pretty much not able to do anything by themselves. Um, so I'll eventually need a transplant down in line, but but that's uh, that's another subject for another time. Um, so anyhow, um, if you uh, you know if if you're long term, they're going to eventually put in what's called a fistula or another access point in your body. A fistula is basically when they go into your wrist or upper arm, depending on how your veins are, and they uh, put together a couple veins to make a big vein. And this takes, uh, it can take a month to three months to basically what they call mature and become the big vein. Uh, and it's a big enough access point for them to use needles then to uh, access you for dialysis and to pull the blood out and to put the blood back into your body. Um, but of course, that's, that's further on down the line. Just wanted to uh, talk about mainly starting dialysis today. So, as far as starting, um, another thing I want to recommend is when you go to a dialysis clinic, um, you'll want to get all the emergency numbers. Um, you know, if, if you need to contact them for any reason, if something happens with your port, if something, if you feel uh, you know, very sick or have any questions, you can call them at any time. You want to make sure you have that info. You also want to make sure. Um, Take, take a blanket with you, take a pillow, um, anything that's going to make you comfortable there because, um, you know, some, some of the chairs aren't the <clears throat> most comfortable. The clinic I go to, uh, the chairs all recline like a recliner, but it's really not that comfortable. So I take a couple pillows and I take a cushion to sit on and it really helps a lot. And the blanket helps because, um, a lot of times I get cold during treatment. So, um, and I see a lot of people around in the clinic too that get cold during treatment and they wear blankets and, and it really helps out. So, um, th that's a good thing. Um, take a book, uh, to read, take your laptop computer, see if they have Wi-Fi that you can connect to. Um, a lot of places have like a personal TV that you can, uh, watch TV and put headphones on, um, during your treatment because, um, a lot of times treatments can last up to four, four and a half hours, and it's very boring um, if you're just sitting there. So try to take something to keep you occupied, and um, you can always sleep as well. I mean, there's no, no harm in that. A lot of people sleep during their treatment. Uh, myself, I can't. I can sleep for maybe an hour, but that's about all I can do, and then I'm, I'm awake for the rest of the treatment. Um, I just can't get back to sleep. The, either the chairs are not comfortable or just the whole fact of knowing there's blood coming in and out of me just messes with my head and I can't sleep knowing that. But, uh, but yeah, if you're able to sleep, awesome. If not, just take some stuff to entertain yourself and um, it'll make the four, four and a half hours go, go along um, a lot easier. Uh, make sure you have reliable transportation to and from. Um, it's important that you don't skip any treatments uh, because th this is basically most of the time people go three days a week for four, four, four and a half hours and you figure that three times a week at four hours is 12 hours and that's doing the job in your kidneys that your kidneys were doing 24 hours a day seven days a week. So if you miss one of those days it's definitely going to make you struggle. Um, you might swell up more. You might get sick from just having too many toxins in your body. Um, so it, it can really uh, take a toll on you if you miss a treatment. Try to make all your treatments. Uh, have an emergency backup if you have uh, if your ride isn't able to take you. Um, prepare in the winter for you know if what happens if there's heavy snow. Um, or in the summer, if there's any inclement weather, you know things like that. Just always have a plan, and and your uh, dialysis center will have a plan too that they'll share with you. Just make sure you're familiar with it. Um, as far as that, that's all I can really think of off the top of my head about you know starting dialysis. Um, I'll make some more videos.
going more in depth, but just wanted to give you a couple uh, tips and and stuff from my experiences so far. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments. And if you like this video, like it and uh, consider subscribing. Thanks and have a good day.